loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be all on some favorites of mine. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so first I'm gonna start off with Dossier. And you all know that they send me colognes and I talk about at least two once a month. Well, I've been using the Floriental Cedar. This is it right here. As you can see, the bottle is very nice and sleek. I would say this one is more grown up more mature and when you spray it um, it does have a lot of projection I feel as though the staying power is really good and that could be because I spray a lot when I wear it but I always get compliments and it smells let's say I'm just gonna smear it here and smells very very good but once you spray it upon the initial sniff it's like boom out there it, it really gets you and the other one is floral pink pepper here is the bottle right here very nice and sleek and this one is inspired by Dior's Miss Cherie uh, 2017 version this one is nice as well it's a little bit and this one smells so good. I do like this this one, <laughs> the Dior fragrance better, only because of the scents. I prefer those type of scents. Um, they're a little bit softer, uh, less kind of boom right there in your face. But this fragrance is very nice and I totally love it. If you haven't tried any of Dossier's fragrances, you have to try them. They're really nice, very affordable. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, these are $29. And definitely go back and check periodically because they're always getting fragrances in um, last I checked it was Tom Ford and it might be something else now but awesome awesome they're all over the YT everybody's talking about them because they're just that good so next I want to talk about these lip balms by Juvia's Place these are very hydrating and I was really shocked maybe I shouldn't be but they have some good ingredients in them too and you know that I can really appreciate that the shades that I got was caramel and berry and I do have to say that I like the packaging. You know, you just take the tube off and or the top off and there is the shade. It's really, really pretty. So this is caramel, okay? And it just gives you like a really light tint. And this one is berry, really, really pretty. Okay, so if you're into those light types of balms and things like that, I would definitely say that to check that out. All right, next on the list, I have a cream bronzer by Milk. If you all watch any of my Get Ready With Me's, you know that I love creams. I think that this is a really good shade. I think this is in bronze. And let me just swatch it for you so you can see how this shade looks on my skin tone. I'm hoping you can see that but really really nice it blends well it's very creamy and sometimes you can catch these on sale I've even seen them at TJ Maxx um, I see a lot of stuff at TJ, TJ Maxx but this one is really nice if you're into creams or if you want to try to get into creams this one is uh, really safe because it's like a stick you know if you want to bronze with it you just go like that and you're through all right, so next I wanna talk about some lashes and I'll have to put the exact name of the lashes up on the screen. I can't see it now, but anyway, these are by the Lure Lashes and these are so pretty. Um, I like the way that they kind of flare out. They start off thin and they flare out on the end. I have a picture or a little video of me on TikTok wearing these lashes and they're so cute and sexy. Let me just show you these. So nice, so fluttery. If you like those type of eyelashes, I would say to definitely check that out. All right, and then I have a skincare item and I absolutely love this. This is my nighttime oil that I like to use. This has a retinol in it and it is the Starlight Oil by Strivectin. This is it right here. This oil is very, very light and thin. It kind of has like an orange color. And after I finish all of my skincare, even my moisturizer, I put this on and my skin has been loving it. I've been using this now, I think for three months, maybe more, but this is so divine. If you have concerns with um, any type of anti-aging issues, whether it be trying to, you know, fade dark spots or um, help with your pores or fine lines and wrinkles, I would definitely say to check this out. I talk about this on YouTube, on TikTok, 
Facebook, wherever. I love this. All right, so next up, I have a powder by Sephora, and this is their Micro Smooth Powder. I'm a little bit late to the game with this one. I think everybody has this powder but me. I especially love how it gives like a soft, focus look so let's say you have a foundation that's kind of acting cray cray and you don't have time to really fix it or redo it or something like that having a powder like this on deck would really be good i think that this shade really works well for me again i don't have them i'll have to put the <laughs> the shade on the screen but this one is so pretty i'm sure everybody watching this has used or tried this particular powder and you know sephora they just really have good makeup overall and that just kind of leads me into uh talking about their skin their best skin ever foundation i did a video on this particular foundation a while back and it's really really smooth and you when you pump it and you put it on your skin you're thinking it's going to be thick but to me it kind of reminds me of a light airy fluffy type of texture it's really really nice and i really do like the coverage i find that it, it is buildable now it's not buildable to full but it just leaves your skin looking really really pretty and these two together you can't go wrong you cannot go wrong with these two and then for hair products i have the coco tree the detangling ghee and this has barley grass and nettle leaf in it this is it right here and i love it for my hair i have very tightly tightly coiled 4c hair and this leaves my hair so soft <laughs> so 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 soft okay um it's kind of like unbelievably how soft it is now what i do have to say is that the softness for some reason it doesn't like last a long time so you have to reapply it you know you, you because and I'm, I'm just thinking because my hair just drinks it up you know so i have to apply it frequently meaning every day you know and i apply a lot of it so if you have hair texture like mine and you're trying to find a hair product that's going to make your hair hair soft I would definitely check this one out. And the last one on my list, um, I don't even know if they sell this anymore, but this is the uh, MAC Fix Bronze. I love this stuff. Do you all see this? Okay, and this was gifted to me by Alex. She has a channel here on uh, the YT, but I absolutely love this spray. I like spraying it sometimes after or before. Um, and spraying it before I use like a matte foundation um, along with my skincare works really well. Um, I just like the look that it gives, very soft, nice, fresh, and glowy. So that's pretty much it. That concludes my favorites video. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried any of these products and if so, what you think about them. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.